My name is Chioma Omera, aka Chiga. I was born in Lagos. I grew up in Lagos. I went to Joss Military School. Some people are here in the building. Went to military school for four years. You know, after that, I went back to Lagos after I failed. <laughs> after I tried my fourth year and I failed, and I told my dad, I said, you know what, Daddy, I'm going back to school and I'm going to face it again. I'll repeat year four. He looked at me and said, get out of my sight. Hello, welcome to another episode of The Heart of the Matter. Today we're focusing on talented and inspiring people who have turned their dreams into reality. We have Chioma Omerwa, also known as Chigal, whose um, Blackberry audio recording went viral in 2010. And also Ngozi Nkoji, um, host of the NG Show, Hello. who's um, very popular on YouTube. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for thank having you. us on me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, so I'm looking forward to this episode. This is a very passionate topic for me, turning your dreams into reality. And I believe there are many viewers who are watching who would like to hear your stories, who are inspired by your stories, who watch you and who would like to hear from you and to learn how to turn their own dreams into reality. Mm -hmm. So Chiama, let's start with you. <coughs> how did one Blackberry audio recording become viral? How did it go viral? Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't, you know the thing about it is... And how did it become a money-making act? It, the money came after. <laughs> the, the, the voices, the it was not oh, no. at all. I think there are many a night, I just looked at the phone, even the phone itself was dying because it needed a replacement and we couldn't afford one. But um, I think it was just a matter of, of the timing mm. and coinciding with God's favor mm. at the time it happened. Mm. Because these are the voices, I've done these voices forever and a day always ever since I can remember and then I send them to my friends all the time but most of my blessed friends God bless all of them delete when I send it to them but this one sister of mine Gloria Barma bless her spirit she heard Kilode and then she was like oh no this is too far to keep to myself I and sent it to somebody else <laughs> yes and sent it to somebody else who sent it to somebody else before I knew what was up I had received Kilode from America <laughs> like have you had this guy name is Chigol I said hey so she's really funny. I said, "Chai." I was like, "She's funny." Mm. It's myself. So, and then, and then people who did not believe, or because people hadn't put a name or a face to the voice, mm. they were like, "Who is this Raz Madam from mm. Monisha Market doing these things and really calling herself a singer?" But and that's just pretty much how it happened. And and, and I've always thought of like MC events, but then now they know who who Chigol is. I'm MC events even more, and I do all kinds of events and. So doors are opening, we're traveling and things and you know, hello, we're using visa. Yes. So go abroad, yeah. Huh? So do my awesome. case, hello. <laughs> so, you awesome. Know. So Ngazi, I mean, I've known you for like forever yes. and we hang out, you're laughing and we're all laughing, you know. How did a senior brand manager at a blue chip company become a social commentator? Um. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. I always, I had this thing with uh, my friends, so even when I was young, I always had this animated character. Whenever I told a story, um, at the end, sometimes I would tell a story and I would describe it. I would say, so, so eventually, Auntie now came in. When she came in, she now did it, did it, and then at the end of the story, they now say, are you serious? What time did you get there? Oh, no, I wasn't there. Somebody told me about it, so I'm just telling you. And they're like, are you, seriously? Are you kidding me? So that went on for so many years, and as I got older, um... All my friends said, no, when there's gist, everyone would say, mm, let him go see, tell us. Yeah, tell us. I like to talk. And with everything, there's a plus, there's a plus side and a negative side. So um, when I was in primary school, I, my own name was always written down for names of noisemakers. So that was the negative side. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm older, I'm glad that my teachers, God bless them, did not shut me up by force. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, I am a very, I, I try to believe that I'm a very candid person because I like, um, I love myself. I like to be comfortable. I have a problem with people who pretend to be something else, which is why I talk about phone. I can't understand for the life of me why all of us went to school abroad and yet some people came back, even though they went to secondary school with us, they came back and said, hey my God, Ngozi, say good to see you. I'm thinking, boo, really? Yeah. What? So good to see you. So, so good to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, long story short, I have my nine to five. I've been with my company for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Well, actually 11. Wow. Um, 
But then every day I say to myself, oh gosh, I just, you know, I see people on social media talking and I'm thinking, Ugh, she's clearly not herself. Like, this is not who she is. And then there were so many topics in me that I wanted to talk about. Like, I wanted to just, we all knew that we didn't want them to speak for her, but nobody was saying anything. We all knew that all these people that got back from, oh, I just got back this Christmas, you know, I just, nobody was saying anything. So I wanted to say something. And with the help of some of my friends, and one very special one, she kept on calling, kept on pushing. I was like, I don't understand what you're doing. Why, you know, why, 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 why? And prayed with me a lot. She's, to me, she's amazing. And one day I just picked up my camera because I was already taking photographs, if you remember. Mm. I think I took photographs yeah, of your first baby, yeah. yes. And also, so, um, when I did a photo shoot when I was modeling. Yes, when we were modeling for Funke. Mm. So I, I had my camera already. So I said to myself, I had so many excuses. I said, oh, I'm working, studio time, I have to pay for studio, I have to... And she said, just start. What's stopping you? List them down. Why? Ca okay, so what's this? Take, we've overcome this. Tick, tick, tick. And one day, I put my camera in front of me in my house, set it up on my tripod, called a couple of people to help me out, and I recorded the first episode. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, Chema, how many characters do you have and how are they born? Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> right now, we're working with 12. Wow. Um, in and they all have countries. names. That's like they all have secrets. names. They have names and they have That's ways. They have names. They have accents and they have ways about them. You know, we just chigol is just the richest one. No, it's not. Okay. It's called it's called multifacetedness. Okay. Um, how many faskets? <laughs> Hello. Okay. So, so and, and it works. I mean, like because I, I actually sometimes there's some things that happen in my life and I think in, I'll think in Spanish. Like I'll say what I want to say in Spanish in my head, like. Mm you know, or in French or whatever. And, and I've been doing these voices forever. And I just thought, why not? Let Chigo not only be only want to chop money, let others help her. Mm -hmm. So there are 11 others who are in a line, waiting. Yeah. So whichever activity fits one, we entered here. Uh, mm -hmm. Come with all of them. There are a few that are like more popular than the rest. Chigo is the richest one, she has most money. <laughs> then there's Modinot. Um, She's Yoruba. Ngozi, you, 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 you tend to take serious topics, some serious topics, and you, you turn them into comedy. Why is comedy such a powerful tool? Um, <clears throat> because it's what I have. That's what mm. comes easy to me. Um, and I don't necessarily think I'm a comedian. I mean, when you're talking about funny, this chi girl is funny. Mm. I am just, um, and that's why at the end of the NG show, I always say, keep it real. Because for me, it's about being real. This is what came naturally to me, um, which is why I try to take topics that I can put a lighter side to. Mm. And even when I, I was thinking about... Yeah, educating the, people. Precisely. In the when I was thinking about the NG show, I just thought there's so much to, to be sad about in the world. There's so much gloom and doom and bloom. I just think, you know, at the end of the day, if I can put a smile on someone's face or make them laugh about something, then I would have done my, my mm. job for that thing. Um, Chema, you said um, that business, the business of comedy is not a joke. What did you mean by that when you said that? It's, um, because it's business. It's, it's becoming livelihood. Mm. It's becoming food on the table. Mm. And that's... I don't think there's a better life than being paid to do what you like to do. I think mm. that's the best life ever. When you wake up in the morning, figure out how you're going to spend your day, and you go, ah, instead of... <laughs> I think there's, you know, it's, it's something to be said about that. So it, it really isn't a joke. And I think um, having a passion for something, you go through the sacrifices for that thing. And you, then that's why I think sometimes it, it, it's, it's hurtful when people, the hustle as opposed to the passion. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. There are people hustling without the passion. And mm -hmm. it is obvious that it's just a hustle mm -hmm. for you. But I do this. I, I was doing this, people were like, oh, my, my sister is not having a good day, could you send her a voice note? And I would do it. Mm. And send it to her and it's like, oh, you made my day. And for me, if, if that's all I can do for someone, make you crack a smile, then my job is done. Mm. But they're paying me for it, so I don't mind collecting the money and the check. <laughs> we need to take a quick break. Okay. Right Viewers, we need to take a quick break. Stay tuned. Watch your favorite Heart of the Matter episodes online at www.theheartofthematter.tv Also check out exciting behind the scenes photos 
leave your comments and like us on Facebook. For this new year, there are so many words we shouldn't carry over. And I wanted to talk about these words and, you know, get your opinions on them. The first word I'm going to talk about is compliments. Just, nothing else, just compliments. Ah, madam, compliments. What well else, sir? Compliments. What does compliments mean? This goes back to our laziness as a people. It's the same way I feel about the second word, nice day. Huh? Welcome back to the heart of the matter. We still have with us Chioma, also known as Chigo, and Ingozi of the NG Show. Um, okay, so it's easy to say, follow your dreams, turn your dreams into reality, but there are challenges, there are also mistakes that happen along the way. So have you ever failed? Mm. Let's start with you, Chioma. One of the things that people always ask me, you know, how can I do this? How can I do that? Can I, I want to be like you. So, and the first stage which is the most important is your dream of what you want to do a lot of people are afraid to dream and afraid to dream big but there's a song by an artist called jasmine sullivan and this song is the song is that i gotta dream big and i i told myself i will dream big and, and so every time I, I i started this thing i saw myself in hollywood even as a child i used to i've been practicing my oscar speech oh and i'm gonna give that speech someday Amen. By the grace of the Almighty God. So, uh, that, so you dream that dream and let no one tell you your dream is too foolish or too stupid or too whatever. As long as it is a positive dream that's supposed to affect people positively, dream it. Then you start to think about how to work towards achieving that dream. Now, people also need to learn the, if something might be innate, it might be in you, and you can also learn. A behavior and a talent can be learned. Figure out which one, and if it is learned, that means you need to brush up and keep it going. If it's innate, it's innate, it's in you. You do what you got to do. But people forget that even as if you have a passion, you must, and a craft, you must make it better. You must keep abreast with the times. You must you remain relevant. Like this quote that sticks out for me <clears throat> while you're trying to get everything, oh, while you're trying to make sure everything is perfect, someone else is learning from their mistakes. Yes. yes. So you must, and you, you will fall on your face. We have bad days, we have events we've done, and you'll be like, okay, I'm waiting for this to be over so I can go home and lay in my bed. I've, how many nights, how many times have I gone home and cried? How many times have I, because I was a woman, because I was big, because I was this, because I was that, did I not get the job? They knew I was good, but because she's too big for screen, we can't put her on TV. She's a woman, we want a dude. In this entertainment thing, we're like maybe five, six of us women who are in the midst of all these men. So comedy shows, you will beg and cry and please put me on the show. My manager will go and ask, me, there's always something. Or you do and they pay you 10 naira. You will collect your 10 naira. And I say, ah, I will try, try to develop my 10 to 100, maybe to help me somehow. So it's, it's, it's those things you go through. But you have to be willing that, as somebody said to me, she girl, I'll, I'll tell you what happened one time. I went to, to an award show in New York. I got to New York at 5 o'clock in the evening. I didn't get picked up until 11 p.m. They forgot I was even on the bill. Got to my hotel. They didn't have a hotel room for me. They put me in a hotel room. To cut a long story short, put me in a hotel room and told the people she was going to get checked out if you don't do something about this tomorrow. And like they said, I came back from the award show to find my box, cloth, Plus, even on the way I'd washed on the line, yeah. all in the, in the back office. They checked me out of a room. And I stood there and cried. Because oh. I was like, what kind of... But then somebody said to me, Chigo, stop crying. These are the steps to greatness. Mm. <laughs> so indeed. every time I come across a challenge, I walk on it. I mm. step on that thing to take me to the next level. Mm. Because what if I decided I'm not going to do this again? No, I, then where would I be? Every challenge you come across must be a step to greatness. Mm. It has to make you make it a step mm. to greatness. Mm. And that's it. What about you, Angazi? Have you failed? Has it made yes, mistakes? of course. I mean, I, 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 would, I would be very um, excited if I, if I, I would have been a very good, oh, I didn't, I never, just, as soon as I started, it just went well. <laughs> Girl, please. But even before um, I'm starting, I learned something early. Um, a lot of times, when I when I picked up my camera, 
um, and I was taking photographs. I loved doing it. But then suddenly I saw people are making money from this thing. Let me charge. And I realized I couldn't put in the effort required to deliver and make money from it. And it took me a while on some other things and some other people that I saw to learn something. And so there's a few pointers to learn that I cannot do somebody else's dream. I don't know how to do this. So what I'm trying to say is, I think God put all of us and gave each, every, each and every one of yes. us a gift. So if I decide, ah, this is what she's doing. She's making money. Let me now copy her. And I keep saying keep it real because honestly, you cannot be anybody but yourself. I, I keep telling that. people, I you know what I mean? I keep telling people that when I interview people, the fact that you're, you're here, we have your, 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 your resume and you're sitting in front of us, is simply, you're, you're good. You're already here, right? You're probably not better than a lot of the candidates that we've seen. They just want you to, they already have. The difference is what do you bring mm. to this conversation and to this company? How do you add value? How do you add to empowerment? How do you add to the aura of strength and togetherness that we have here? Mm. So one thing for me was not to copy people. And then um, the second thing was that I needed to just stop being afraid. There was every reason to be afraid. My husband said to me, you know, and I love him, but he said to me, you know this internet thing? Yeah, you, because you are exposing yourself. Okay. You're just going to go and expose yourself. You want to just open yourself up because once you put it out there, then it's people out. can talk. And I thought about it, and that's what I developed in my head. And I always say this to myself, what is the worst case scenario? Mm. It has become my mantra. Mm. I always start like that. What's the worst case scenario? Last, last, somebody will see me outside and say, that's that girl though, she, da, 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 maybe she slept with somebody's husband. Ah, she repeated primary four three times. I went to school with her. Somebody actually wrote that. I was wow. like, wow, yeah. This, somebody put one of my episodes on a blog. I forgot the name of the blog. One of these gossip blogs anyway. Um, and somebody said, I Googled her, nothing came up. Clearly, rich husband, she no get work. They're giving her money, she has started her own show. Thinking, wow, great stuff. So I thought, worst case scenario. <laughs> yeah, five no, not five likes you know, is not even worst uh -huh. case. I think worst case scenario for me is I get depressed by what they say. So what I then do is ensure that I prepare myself mm. for that worst case scenario. Mm. Um, and then lastly, I was very realistic. You interview some people and you say, in five years, what do you want to be? I'm sure I can be MD of this company. See, boo, that's never going to happen. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe I'm too realistic, but there are just some things that will not you are a bachelor degree holder, your MBA is in view, you are 23, and you think that by the time you're 28, you'll be MBA? No. So what I tried to be was realistic. It may be negative or positive, but for me, um, personally, I felt that when being realistic helped me to visualize mm. what I wanted to do um, with the NG show, especially because I also have a 9 to 5 mm. and a family. Your timing is also necessary. You have to think about your timing because yeah. you have to be, sometimes I think, and that's the spiritual aspect of it, I think God gives these opportunities at the time he gives them for you to mm. walk in that time. That's mm. also correct. Because there will come a time your markets might not be selling. Mm. At the time he has prepared, <laughs> he has, he has, exactly, he has prepared ground for you to sow seed mm. so that it can come forth and bless some other people. Because I believe Chigol is not for me. Mm. Chigol is not about Shoma. Chigol is about the world. Mm. Chigol is about somebody else watching me who may have wanted to jump off the building, and but watching jump. something I did and did not jump. That's mm. what Chigol is about. So at the time God has given you that opportunity, I'm putting it, and God will open those doors. I realized at the time that these things are happening back to back to back, and there is a reason for this thing. So let me not even play with it anymore. You know what I mean? And, and, and I'm so glad that, I mean, I have people around me, like my, my, my manager, who happen, they're all family, so we sort of have the same notion about these things. We must remain relevant and roll with these times as they are. Mm -hmm. Because now Chigo is trying to diversify. Nollywood, Hollywood. We're doing other things apart from just doing chego voice notes. Hello. So you must you must be conscious spiritually of the timing and walk in that time that you must walk in mm -hmm. at that time. Oh, it's important. She need a podium. <laughs> Can we need to take another that. break. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we need to take another break. Viewers, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the heart of the matter. Um, you know, there's a big role people play. When you're following your dreams you have the encouragers you have the people that discourage you um how do you how do you handle that especially the, the discouraging part um i have 
I am mastering slowly the art of chewing the meat and spitting out the bone of whatever I said to me. Mm. Because there are sometimes people say things and you you have to to first of all reassess what's been said. Come out of the emotion, look at it like really take it sentence for sentence, and I think about it and go, mm. okay, I could learn off of this. When Chigo first started, the truth is <laughs> my family wasn't very pleased. Because first of all, my sisters, my siblings were like, you know, Raz now. My mom, she's like, Choma, we sent you abroad to school, we can't see with it. But I think, <laughs> so she's, she, my mom says to me, when she first, I didn't know what she was. I didn't understand. She said, show your other side. Mm. Show that you can speak well. Show that your, your, your Show that educated. you spend money on Thank you. <laughs> you, so you know, <laughs> don't let it not be as if we just brought you to come up with didn't her. To show that you have, you know, the other sides of you, like she knows I do accents and things. Show that side, the mm. British accent, the American accent, the Indian one. Show all of those sides. And at first, and people, you know, there are some things people can say, there's nothing I can help. I can't help it. Oh, she's fat. So, if, oh. you, if you just realize that I'm fat, I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can say. <laughs> Why is she wearing that dress? I will not be wearing certain things. I dress to my safe and to my figure. If you don't like it, you're transformer. I'm so sorry. So <laughs> you all trans 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 there's, uh, thank you. So so they're just they're just some people that you some I think some people are just meant uh, they come to your life or the right things about you to test you. And once you get over them, once yeah, again yeah. a step to greatness. Yeah. You match it yeah. and move on. Yeah. For some it's is even because they don't know it's out of love. Especially with but they just don't know how to say it. Exactly. Out of their own fears as well. They don't have, but uh, you know, Nigerians are very forward. Mm. You, know, you know, Nigerians are very, very forward. They just mm. tell you whatever. Mm. You know, you're trying to do something and they've, they've removed what you're doing and they're looking at other things. And about them. About them. And so, so basically, I, you know how to. You have you assess what they say, chew the meat, spit out the bone, yeah. move on. Mm -hmm. You thank God for the ones that encourage you. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I was just thinking to myself, I said sometimes on Instagram, for example, let me, let me give you a prime example. I had, there's a picture of me and, and a colleague of mine from Ebony Life TV, Ebuka, we were, we were at Calabar. And there's a picture of he and I on Instagram. And you know, we post things all the time. Someone wrote, it is so nice to see Fiona from Shrek in person. Oh dear. Oh, wow. The Chioma, <laughs> oh, 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 go ahead, but, oh. you know, the Chioma of maybe a couple of years ago would have probably deleted the picture mm. and cried. Mm. But you know what? I went to the person's page. You have like eight pictures. Go mm. cool, fine. Mm. Mm. There's nothing there that's interesting. You are dry as a matter. Then you're not cute on top. And then so I made a vague, I just made a vague statement about, you know, just being careful about what you say. My followers. Oh. Took her to the finished the oh, guy. Yeah. He was an apology yeah. after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't need to. So I said, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's like God sends you people. Mm -hmm. He sends you certain people, mm -hmm. some people will disappoint, mm -hmm. but he sends you certain people yeah. that would encourage you and will not, will not rest until they see you succeed. And they have, there's nothing in it yeah. for them, it's just the gift that God has put in them. Well, here, I wonder what happens when you don't recognize that. <clears throat> like, so I wonder if, as she was calling me and I wasn't listening. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, but I think... Like, what if I just say, no, to me, I beg, it's not for me, I have somehow, a job, I beg, somehow, I cash out. If the message is meant to get to you, it's going to get to you, and mm. it'll, have, it'll get to you. At and some you, at some point, you find somebody, because yeah. it wants you to fulfill. And, and even especially with, your, like, with church and your church family and mm -hmm. ministry. And being, and I'm not saying, you know, being in ministry, for me, my church family, I mean, as, as, as huge a church as, as I attend, my church family and, and the people that I've sort of like, God has blessed me to sort of meet mm. and, and come in contact with, also give me that encouragement mm. because I no, I'm not always as happy as I make people. You know, mm. I have my own issues oh, too. That's I have thing. I have my yeah. I have my time. I don't always want to make you. I, I don't, don't feel want like you don't yes. encourage. Oh, I, I want to be in my house and I want to shut my windows and just yes. stay in my house. Yes. But you know, so those times when when sometimes God uses these people to give me a call and, and sometimes He will even speak through them. Mm. You know, you get a word of prophecy here. You know, sometimes like Chama, I see you in your in your quiet corner. I'll be like, so God is actually. You know, so you, he, he does, you know, he does. <laughs> and that's why I, I'm, I'm planning not to play with Chigol at all because I believe she's here for a reason. Mm -hmm. no, that's why I'm saying she. It's me. I told you there yeah. was tech. MTV, well, Google this thing. Surround us. Can you do something? Can you, one of your Okay, you know, I, I wrote this, uh, you know, like, I, I'm like, this, 
there's like three of the other ones and like there's this girl I had like Slendy and she's from Valley and she like talks like this like I like really like whatever and like like you know like this how she talks right and then like she she's like says everything like like this and, like oh my god like really and like yeah and then there's another one her name is Mrs Patel and she's from India and she's like living in Nigeria for the past four years and she's like oh my god this show is very nice yet what is the the heart of the matter we are on the show now watching <laughs> it is very nice. And there's a Modino, her name is Modino, but she knows she's like, hey, a guess who have fan. She have a bachelor, she have master, she go to a comprehensive school in London for like three weeks. So she have a master, she do her master program in three weeks. Yes. So after she was in the school, then she's learning things and then she's sharing it to everybody, understand? Yes. And then there's Chega, and it's Chega that is really the one that have all the money, you get it. And she's the one that make most of the what? Money. Because yeah. she's selling her what? Market. Yes. And she's a singer songwriter, I think. Hello, can I sing a song? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. This song I wrote it because. <laughs> So people are not expecting that they are not maintaining their champion. Maintaining your champion means to wherever you are, stay there. That means don't leave your talent to push on the market. Maintain your champion. Maintain your champion. Maintain your champion. Maintain your champion where you are. Don't leave your talent to push on the market. Maintain your champion where you are. Oh. Hey, oh. Maintain <laughs> your champion where you are. God gave it to you for a reason. Maintain it. Hold it. Be it. You get it, yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> we've come to the end of the program. But before we go, can you just tell just one <coughs> word, one sentence each, the viewers, why they should follow their dreams? It behooves you oh, wow. to follow your dream. You have to. That's why it's given to you. Follow it. Uh, I think you should follow your dream because it gives you fulfillment. Yeah. And it makes me feel fulfilled. I wake up every morning thinking, Ooh, I did that. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for coming. Thank on you. The show. I'm having so you. much fun, thank you. and thank you. hopefully we'll have you again oh. soon. You can't die, man. I mean, I'll have thank to check you. my schedule because you know I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, I can celebrity. And everything. We should. You're too busy for. Thank you very much. I mean, I Thank you very much, viewers, for watching another episode of The House of the Matter. We hope you have been inspired to do that thing that has been in your heart to do. It's possible you can see from our guests today that they have done it. And so we hope you would also share your stories with us. Um, until next week, stay blessed. <laughs>